Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks. Welcome to 999. Nine hours. Nine persons. Nine doors. I'm just going to jump into the options menu because there's some nice music playing there. I don't know why there's no music in the title screen, but whatever. Uh, you guys told me about this game and I've been waiting to play it for a while. Uh, I'm still going to continue Danganronpa 2, so don't worry. That's not ending. I really want to finish that game. But uh, everyone that was watching that playthrough of Danganronpa 1 and Danganronpa 2 was recommending this game to me as well. And now it's just finally come out on PC. And uh, it's uh, it's this game and Virtue's Last Reward that I got. So I'm planning on playing through the whole series. Uh, it might take me a bit, but that's the plan. And I'm really excited to play through this. Another, another really cool Japanese mystery. Um, I don't usually play um, games like this, like visual novel-ish games. But, uh, so it's kind of interesting to watch someone who's, like, completely foreign to this type of game go through, well, not really completely foreign anymore, having played through Danganronpa 1 and most of Danganronpa 2, but someone who's getting a fresh look at these games. It's always fun, uh, for me to explore them and see how they present a story, because I'm, I'm really, really keen to play through engaging stories and games. So without further ado, I don't know much about the game. Just that there's mystery, there's puzzles, there's intrigue, which I'm really excited about. Let's jump right in to the game. So excited. Okay, finish saving. Let's do it. This game is fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this production are fictitious. Two modes of play, novel and adventure. Can switch in and out of each interchangeably. I'm going to be playing under the novel mode. I was told that's the best way to play it. Or the, the original way. Okay, I'll be quiet now. A loud noise startled Jinpei awake. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the names yet, guys. I'll, I'll do my best. And his eyes snapped open. So there was a sh we're on a ship, I guess. And it looked like it was in the middle of the ocean. And there was a countdown and an explosion. What? What? What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize the surroundings. With a crack, Jinpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. What? Whoa! His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind, struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? A bed? Fell pretty far. It fell off the bed. <sighs> that really hurt. Yeah, no kidding. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Where? Am I? Good question. So we don't really know what's going on at all. Wait, okay, I made it. It stopped. I'm in adventure mode. I'm gonna switch to novel mode. Oh, that's cool. Minutes passed while Jimpe struggled to get his bearings. Then, as suddenly as they had begun, the tremor ceased. Oh, I see. Hmm, that's interesting. So, it changes the interface a bit too. I mean, I'll let you guys uh, decide how I'm to play this. I don't know, I'm tempted to play the adventure mode. Um, I think the original game was was like this novel mode, but uh, let, me, let me know what you guys prefer. Because uh, it looks like the novel mode is describing what's going on through a narrator. Um, 
so there might be more like intrigue if I'm playing under the adventure mode. I, I don't know. You guys, you guys let me know. Uh, a cold silence fell over the room. From somewhere far away, Junpei could hear the sound of metal squeaking. What's that sound? Let's try. I'm going to switch over to uh, adventure mode just to see the difference. That's five. Five, okay. What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? I'm gonna switch back to the novel mode. So I see, basically the narrator describes the actions that are happening on the screen. I just want to see if they also happen or if it's just a static image. Open the door! There was no response. So it looks like the actions do occur. <sighs> Jibei threw his left fist into the door and stopped. Huh? What the hell is this? I wasn't really sure what else to say. On his left wrist was a bracelet of a sort he'd never seen before. Let's switch to uh, adventure mode. See the difference. A watch? It doesn't look like one. Five. That's, that's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Whoa. Ah, ah, my head. What was that? Was that a memory? I'm tempted to stay in adventure mode. I kind of like it better. Huh. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? We're on a ship. Ah, I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? Uh-oh. What the... Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What what the hell is going on here? It, it, is the water gonna start leaking again? Oh my god. What the hell? God damn it! Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something! It's it's not stopping. How the hell what? Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out and fast. Are we on a timer here? Seek a way out. Okay. Pressure's on. The class cabin. Okay. Operations during an escape. I see. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Use the cursor to select a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use LB or RB to walk around the room. Less thick controls. With the less thick during an escape to use the cursor. Press X to speed up movement. Okay, press A to search where the cursor is placed. Oh, I see. We can rotate. Alright, well, let's investigate this first. What is this symbol? About items. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Pressing Y will take you to the item screen. 
Note from bulletin board. We can search it and we can combine it. Note's got some red and blue symbols on it. And also I notice an arrow. Can I, oh, and I can rotate it. All right. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. You hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Press up to quickly change between items. What is, um, why is there this, this down arrow here? I've got a picture frame. Old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship uh, in it. There's screws keeping the back on. Okay. I'm gonna hang on to the note for now. How do I get, what does X do again? Oh, I see. That, that means I can go back. The arrows mean I can go left or right. Water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something into the window is going to stop the water. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I had to figure this out. Hmm, okay. Obviously, this mechanism is important. Let's take a look at it. I guess that's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it. Well, it looks like pulling on the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red and the display hasn't changed. Damn it. Why the hell isn't this thing opening? Hmm. Can I? Okay, so it's, I'm looking at the whole thing. I want to look at different parts. The groove on the side of this thing looks like it's made to have a key card swipe through it or something like that. Maybe if I can find a card, I can unlock this thing. Isn't that what we have right now? So. Now, if, if I remember the uh, instructions correctly, if I have an item selected, it will use it. I'll have different, um, when I examine something, it will, it will try to use it on the thing. Oh, I see. Speed up item while, oops. Speed up item file calc flow save menu. Cool. Okay. What about this door five? So it's the same. It was. That was the same number that was on our watch. Five, huh? What does that mean? What's this? Oh! Okay. That's a door. Small key, red. Small red key. I should probably hold on to this key. Huh. Oh, what's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... Oh, wow. And... I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. So he lives alone. Uh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze? Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Uh oh. So someone broke in, maybe? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Jesus what? Christ! Who are... Uh, uh, I... I can't... Uh. Consider this a privilege. 
You have been chosen. Oh, thank you so much! You are going to participate in the game. The Nonary Game. The Nonary Game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. It's always the guy with the gas mask. Never trust the guy with the gas mask, guys. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Good point. Just who was that? They said you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That is creepy. The nonary game. Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! Yeah, I think I'd be pretty pissed off too. Now there's looks like there's another door here. Oh, there's nothing left. Oh, this is a mirror. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. So we have a key. Oh, there's a there's a briefcase here. No dice, it's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Zero one zero one. Um, this could, I, I wonder. Number on the dial is zero one zero one. I wonder if this is binary. I guess I need to put the key in the keyhole before I can enter any numbers on the dial. I think the key is the right size, but I I can't get it into the keyhole. I guess that means I need to find a different key about this size. Weird. So we're stuck on that part. Now there's a kettle here with a like a, a stove. This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. I sure wish the door uh, to get out of here was that easy to open. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, screwdriver. Perfect. Well, that solves the mystery of whether or not this stove has been used before. <laughs> What's this? It looks red. Okay, so what we want to do is combine that with, um, with this. Screwdriver got- the screwdriver got the screws off easily enough. And here's the picture. Ah, hello. So those are numbers. Uh, I should probably have like, I should probably have a pen or something. I didn't, I didn't know I'd need one. Hold on. Let me write this down. So, um, Each of those shapes corresponds to a different number. And if we look at the card, it looks like we've got a uh, seven. So red seven. And then it's a four. And then we've got blue six. Right. And then blue three. Seven, four, six, three. So someone wrote a bunch of numbers and symbols on the back of the picture, huh? That's pretty cool. There's four, so I'm assuming that corresponds to the suitcase. Finding items. Select combine- okay, well, I figured that out. On the item screen to combine two items. If the two items can be combined, you'll receive a new item. If they cannot, then nothing will happen. Try out different combinations of items you find in your search. Is there something in the kettle too? Of course there is. Oh, it's blue key. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in here. Looks like there is. A key. <laughs> there's a little blue key in the bottom of this pot. Odd. Who set who set this up exactly? 
Let's try the blue key then. All right, let's see what happens if I put this blue key in the keyhole. And nothing. It's gonna need some sort of code for the dial. Mini games, okay. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one uh, of several mini games. All operations through the mini games are done by using less thick and A. Some mini games will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you to apply the right object or press the right thing. Operation instructions. Pressing the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Okay. Enter four numbers this way and then press the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. I'm going to try 7463. Although, the blue was just 6-3, but... No. Okay, just try 6-3? Zero six three. Oh, this can't be... That can't be zero. This can be, though. This only goes to five. Wait, wait a second. That has all the digits. Okay. These two only go to five. Weird. Damn it! Open, you stupid thing! I don't think it's gonna open if I whack, whack it on the wall a couple of times. Might make me feel better. Not gonna help, though. Alright, Jinpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some more clues. I don't know if I have enough. Um, pretty sure I got those numbers right. It's kind of hard to. Am I supposed to like, like, can I combine these? No. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Seven, four, six, three. Let's look around some more. I must be missing something. Oh, I see. Red briefcase too. Just like the blue briefcase. Yep, there's a lock on this one too. And it's not opening. Same thing. Huh. I feel like we only have half. I guess, I feel like we only have half the puzzle. It's like I'm gonna have to put in the right numbers. Yeah, it's the same thing. So for red, it was seven, four. Uh, I just don't know where they go. I gotta look around some more. I feel like I'm missing something. See anything else in the screen? Wait, wait, wait. Is there something else here? Bulletin board. Nothing on it. 
There's a towel next to the sink. Anything in the sink? There's nothing in the sink. It's the only drain in the room. What's that? Pair of simple chairs next to the table. Water's already under the chair, oh no. What's this? Nothing. Uh, I can uh, reach this bunk. I just will look through it. Huh? Damn! Nothing here. Okay. Somebody just painted a big red five on the door. I feel like... Can I not use this? This is just a note, it's not a card. Card reader. I feel like I've... I have everything that I can get here. I need to figure this out. Am I missing something in the mirror? Should I try seven for? I only have two numbers for each color. What about, is there anything up here? Pipe at the other end of the bed. I think I'm tall. It's a pillow. Didn't miss anything here. I feel like I'm missing like one sheet of paper. Closet. Zero and five are squares. The arrow is so... Why is there an arrow there? I, f I assume it was to give it like a direction for the combo, but... calculator that we can use. Hmm. All right, luckless. We tried six. Tried six, three. This can only go to five. Tried seven four six three. Couldn't put it in reverse order. Restart. The line was drawn from red to blue, right? Red seven four, blue six three. Maybe that means I need to start with red. Seven. 
four. Oh, I see. It resets when you leave. I have no idea! Yeah, I know there's a couple symbols on it that were red. Oh, it gives you hints, I guess. I wonder those symbols on the back of the picture along with some numbers. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I wonder. If, like, um, using one of the cards notes on the mirror would help. Seeing them in the mirror, that is. I just don't, I don't know what else I can do with this card. Is there a reason it's folded like a mountain? The reason it's folded like a mountain. Oh, like the way that we're looking at it maybe has. Has an effect. Got it. The part of the air on the left side of the fold is red. Right half is blue. Symbols in the air are only red. Left. It's like really trying to uh, hint us. Yeah. Need four numbers the red briefcase the security code. There are only two red numbers on that note. If I had something where the left side was red, then I would have four red symbols. So did I just turn it upside down? Is that the point? So now that it's upside down, um, possibly. What would that be then? Um, two? Two and nine? Let's just try. That wouldn't work though. This, this doesn't go to nine. The way that it's folded has something to do with it, though. If we were to fold it, that matter? That gives me the hand time. I don't know, guys. I guess I'll wrap up this episode here and think about it, and uh, we'll come back in the next one and see if we can see if we can solve this. God, already stuck on the first puzzle. Not surprising. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, please uh, think about leaving a like on the video. It helps other people find my playthroughs. It really helps me out a lot, and I truly appreciate it. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now, and I'll continue this on the next one. See you then, and I love you all.